Hi everyone, it's Paris here. How are you? Sunday morning, the 28th of February. And this month, February, I'm just checking my diary. We've got 20, so look, 27, 28 days. And it's the 1st of March on Monday, tomorrow. So I hope everyone is well on a Sunday morning. Now, I've got the phone in portrait on my stick. There's something wrong with my phone. It only works on Wi-Fi. My computer is okay, the Facebook computer. But when I try and use my phone, it's not working, right? So I've been using Philip's phone off-site or whatever. Um, it's been playing up. Something saying internet connection not working. I don't know what's going on because Google works on it. The internet works on it and all that. So it's not like it's a payment thing or whatever. Okay, so I've just got... Um, Little baby here at the moment who won't leave us alone, literally, is always on our head. And it's very frustrating. I've just got the children here and um, I'll turn the camera around. I've got, just sit here for a second, baby. I've got um, my, um, uh, Rusty here. Hi, Rusty. Rusty's gone from one container to the other one to have a bath. Hi, Rusty. All right, doesn't like the camera on him, doesn't like it. And this is. Um, this trooper. Anyway, I just want to show you. I've taken out the cocky and ringy who were in the laundry. And I just want to show you just a small example, very small example of the work that's involved and the cleaning that's involved when you have parrots, when you have birds. Right? So don't get birds if you don't like a mess in the house. And I'll turn this around on you here. So as you know, they were in the laundry. I had them under observation for a few days. So this is, this is actually quite clean here. This is just foliage, right? So I've got a bit of cleaning here. As you can see, I left that there because the cocky would like to walk on it, right? So they've damaged the door. This is normal with regards to, see? I've got mess, right? I'm not complaining. I'm just saying, friends, what's involved when you have birds, right? Constant cleaning. It's not just mopping because then I have to chuck the mop out. And they've eaten the door there. Eaten the door. So we'll have to patch that up. No point getting another door when other birds come in. So there's a lot of washing and cleaning. It's constant washing and cleaning. Don't think for a moment the birds are easier than any other animal. They're all harder because they need to fly and they shit everywhere. Because dogs and cats do their things in a toilet train. And a lot of people say, how can I toilet train my birds? Well, I'm thinking, you idiots. Have you seen birds in the sky where they shit? Anyway, there's a lot going on in the world and politically. I'm just sort of looking at what the birds are doing on the deck at the moment. Baby, can you just come off my head for a moment? Baby literally won't come off our heads, both mine and Philip's. It is very, very stressful. It's very hard, friends. Imagine, just put your hands on your head and keep with the sharp, something sharp, a sharp nail. If, ladies, you've got manicured nails, just keep doing that all day and see how it feels to have something on your head all day. It's very hard, but I can't tell them off because it's not their fault. A lot of birds have been taught that way because it's cute, you see, to have a bird on your head. And then the owners get pissed off, can't take it anymore, and then bring the birds to me. I'm just coming in here making sure that everyone's okay. You okay, Agapi? You see Agapi here on the deck. I'll turn the camera around. Agapi, you got your little... Got... Where's Crystal? Crystal, what are you doing in there? You got your little egg. She's got a little egg. It's not fertile. And this is Agapi. Agapi, who started it all. Um, 16 years ago or so, even longer, 2000 and, I've got a guppy from 2006, 2006, so that makes it 15 years now. You okay, guppy? A guppy's a boy. And love you, love you. Hello. Hello, guppy moose. How are you, guppy? This is Crystal, this is girlfriend. You can't even go near Crystal. And see, they've got their little egg in there they're sitting on. That's all right, darlings. That's okay. I'll just turn this around for a moment. So I just want to say good morning to everyone. I'm just opening the blind for a second. I can't do it with one hand. I can. Just want to say good morning to everyone. I'm wishing you all a good Sunday morning. And my posts are going to be harder and more firmer on Facebook and on social media. Because I think it's enough's enough. Right, friends? Rocky, is that you? That's Rocky. It's Rocky. Rocky misses me coming in. Rocky, you got friends now? Do you want to say hello to everyone, Rocky? I love you, Rocky. Say good morning. Rocky! <laughs> he won't talk with the camera. Rocky! Say good morning, Rocky. Rocky! 
Rocky shouts like that all day. He says, Rocky, Rocky. Rocky! You know I called him Rocky? Because when we first rescued him a few months ago, he was obsessed with Rockamelon. That's the reason he was obsessed with Rockamelon. It's all right, baby. Just stay there for a second. He loved his Rockamelon. Now, Rocky, I'm going to give you some Rockamelon today. What do you reckon? Some nice organic Rockamelon? I love you. I love you, Rocky, Rocky. Come on, Rocky. You're going to go down French so I can go and get your food? So I'm just going to flick him off for a second. Oh, that nah, he won't come off. Come on, Rocky, come on. <laughs> ah! <laughs> they don't like to be handled, a lot of them. So I'll just gently flick him off my shoulders. They don't like hands. Not all birds like hands. So, friends, what I'm trying to say is I'm going to be quite firm on my social media posts. We've wasted a year last year doing nothing, right? People have been stuffing around and being fooled by all sorts of people and um, groups and individuals who have fooled you all. With what's happening you still are being fooled and with everything that i say i usually back up links web links news links of what is happening um to back up what i'm saying like about you know um craig kelly and all the rest of the fake mobs and and the 99 percenters and all that i back up everything i say if you don't want to listen to my videos and if you don't want to see the links that i say backing up everything that are uh, that is against these people because they are all fake and they're all fooling you and honestly friends it they'd make if you're listening you, you fake artists you bullshit artists if you're listening you'd make more money selling lemonade and coffee than the stupid t-shirts and all the other shit you're selling but you see friends what they're doing is picture this friends you're taking out your what 10 20 bucks to buy t-shirts right so that 20 dollars goes towards these political new political parties that are all the same as the far right, centre left, liberal labour. They're all the same. So they want you, you are paying to, to market for them. You know, normally I have to pay advertisers and marketers to do work for me. You are paying these frauds, these political parties, and by wearing their t-shirts and the rest of their shit, you are paying to market their stuff. It should be the other way around. They should be working, earning money, right? Or paying marketers and advertisers. You are paying them. I mean, think about it. Think about it, friends. If you don't agree with what I say, that's fine. I'm not here to find people to agree with me. I'm not here to find people. Um, to, I'm not here to find friends. I'm not interested in finding friends. I'm just trying to wake you all up. And I've said from the start that I'm trying to show you who I am in my life, in my personal, professional, the rest of my life. So that one day when you realise that you have been the sheep, Following the 99% groups, the art, the reignite democracy, the um, bosses, and all these liars who are just out just to set political groups because you cannot change governments with politics. You cannot change a political party with politics. You just can't do it. You don't do it that way. You Because we know who they are, right? What? So you're going to go in the group of elitists and you're going to tell them how to change their ways? Why do you think you're so special? Who do you think you are that you can walk into... An, an established set of rules, an organisation of thousands and thousands of years, over 2,000 years, who do you think you are trying to change them? We've never had democracy, we never will. Not the way the things are now. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. As you can see, um, I've got to tend to the birds. They don't like it. I'm not giving them attention. This is baby. Baby. Baby, seriously. Baby. This is baby with um, that one eye, maybe partly blind. Right, and, and Musty's come now. Musty, are you coming over? You want to say hello to everyone? Musty, come here, Musty. Come here, Musty. I'll, I'll just let me bring Musty for a second. Come here, Musty. Seriously, not the throat. Come here, Musty. Come here. Come here, Musty. Come and say hello to everyone. This is Musty. Oh, see, see how jealous they got? I'm just going to put the phone down. See how jealous? If the phone goes off, it's because they're jumping on my keyboard. Hey, Musty. You want to say hello? You're very jealous. Baby's very jealous. Come here, Musty. Good boy, Musty. How are you? Say hello to everyone. Say hello to everyone. Uh, baby's very hard on the left. Baby, she's only like four months old. And she wants constant, constant, constant attention. I don't mind on the shoulder. But the problem is that she bit me there. She got upset. The problem is that um, she's jealous of the other birds. What constant attention. So imagine friends having a rat. 
cook birds like rats with feathers all over you, all day. It's very hard. I'm just doing a live for a second. There's a message just, uh, uh, message just came. All right, friends, so thanks for watching. I'm trying to incorporate talking to you, saying good morning with the birds. As you can see, it's impossible, right? Absolutely impossible. So I'm just going to put baby here in a little house. A little house here. It's not cute. Hi, Suzanne. How are you? It's not cute at all. It's not cute. No, it's very hard because people have talked birds the wrong ways. And uh, let's have a look now. Little must, little Rusty here has had a bath. Hey, Rusty. Hey, Rusty. You had your bath. Now, Rusty can't fly. Come here, Rusty. Come here, darling. Come here. Come here, darling. Come on. I'll take you up. Good, good, good girl, Rusty. Good girl. I don't know if you're a girl or boy. I think you're a girl. All right, Rusty. It's all right, Rusty. Don't be scared of the phone. It's all right. I'm taking you over. I'm taking you over. Okay. All right, she just had a bath. You can see her feathers. And here comes Baby again. Of course, Baby's always flying. Baby, can you just go inside your house for one second? Just inside your house, Baby. Baby, just inside your house. Just for one moment. It's very hard. And there's Musty. Musty wants attention too. You all right, Musty? Hello, Musty. Stay there, Baby. Stay there. Stay. No. See how that... See? see? No, she had to come up. She had to come up. It's constant like this, friends. It's very hard. I have no time out. That's why I say to you often, the only time out I have is when I go in the toilet. And I sit there with my phone and I try and do messages and stuff. And it, late at night when I go to sleep. No time out. So that's why I look tired and all that. Well, well I've chosen to rescue birds. And I've chosen as to be a bird behaviourist. And to help people too. So could be worse, couldn't it? Could be worse. Anyway, I'll talk about politics a bit later when I'm outside, when I don't have distractions. Thanks, everyone, for watching. I love you all. Have a great Sunday morning. Bye.